Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your one blink here. We're gonna be talking about the new update that's coming up, the going fast update. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's get to it. There's gonna be just game clips in the background of Destiny and Destiny 2. So yeah. Using that OP fell winner's lie. You guys know what it is. So basically I'm just gonna try to read through this update and just try to like go through it in my way and try to do it as fast as possible because I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. Try to leave it at seven minutes if we can. But yeah, or six minutes. But let's get to it. Respawn and revive were tuned in all game modes basically. So yeah, that's gonna be seven seconds faster for all that. And you don't lose a revive token. And it's been reduced by two seconds in quick play. So that's cool. Power ammo respawn timers across all board re reduced for all game modes 50% and iron banner and 30% to 40% and 25% to quick play survival and countdown. Ammo counts were adjusted for all these and blah 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 enemy players new drop their power ammo on death. That's like a destiny one thing that's cool. What about competitive 1.14 team sh shotting and quick play and iron banner effectively we hadn't quite we're gonna approve from the tracker and competitive they're taking away the tracker that's crazy hey more hands down to them i say that's better because in competitive halo there always was no freaking tracker to like lock on to people that was broken bro you can't do no flanks with the tracker i mean you could flank but so basically all competitive modes like trials and competitive and whatever they have that's else competitive is going to be um no radars so we'll see how that goes and they're saying they already seen some clutch underdog comebacks where they tested i guess they're bringing back hero moments where you get increased super and increased energy with all your mobility and i think grenade recharge pretty sure not sure on that don't quote me on that Titan jumps are getting buff, which will enable basically Titan skating. Because right here it says player's ground speed cap has been increased, allowing faster total movement speed regardless of how you make it there. Arc Strider, Sentinel, and and the Striker all move at the same speed. Faster animations as for attack and dodging in range of all attacks. The previous shoulder charge changes were reverted, allowing shoulder charge to be used as a movement once again. So use it like titan skating if you're really good at it Dawnblade is getting buffed more swords actually one more sword duration is increased on ever last lasting fire removed all in air accuracy and penalty swift strike is active reduced the icarus dash cooldown increased grenade melee on heat rise gives you per kill invisibility and dodge this is my favorite part invisibility and dodge no longer breaks aim assist on projectile tracking and pvp unchanged in pve dodging still breaks both aim assist and projectile tracking but only for a duration for the actual dodge increased duration of invisibility of dodge by one second increased duration of smoke bomb by one second such a good change people were so abusing that on xbox such a good change supers recharged one minute and 40 seconds faster a cooldown reduction of 25 percent mods reduced grenade melee and class ability cooldowns and have been buffed to allow them two times faster cooldowns. This is not replacing 2.0, blah, blah, blah. Increased PVE damage on all pulse rifles. They're basically just buffing every single thing about pulse rifles. Precision damage, multiplier, adaptive pulse, decrease. Oh, never mind, they're, they're decreasing that. Increasing everything else, rate of fire, base damage, Yep, on high impact, pulse rifles, lightweight, adaptive pulse rifles, everything. Scout rifles, PV damage for all scout rifles, increased base damage for all scout rifles, high impact. So increased on that. Let's see what else we got here. We got increased PV damage for all hand cannons, increased multiplier, preferred precision damage for all hand cannons, hip accuracy for consoles, Increase ADS accuracy for consoles. Let's go. Nice, Bungie. I play on it. Sidearms increase PVE damage 
for all sidearms, hip fire accuracy, increased ADS, increased inventory size, allowing more reserve ammo to be restored. And added ADS movement speed, increased minimum rage. SMGs, increased PVE damage for SMGs, set optics to 1.3, increased inventory size, allowing more reserve ammo to be stored. Linear fusion rifle, increased damage for linear fusion rifles, increased multiplayer aim assist, blah, 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 flinch multiplayer. PVE, increased PVE damage, that's cool. And this is for shotguns. And um, we got increased inventory size and aim assist for Suros Precision Shotguns. Increased PVE damage for all snipers. Increased precision multiplayer. Increased aim assist and inventory size. And blah, blah, blah. You guys know. Increased blast radius for grenade launchers, assault rifles. Decreased range and aim stats from Uriel's gift. Base damage is not changed. Good. High impact reserves. Increased in PVE damage. Kill clip. Increased PVE. Rampage. PVE damage increase duration dragonfly is all getting increased radius damage and visual effect grave robber 1.5 instead of 0.3 time payload 55 slash 445 55 slash 45 direct instead of the previous split was there's more direct damage explosive rounds direct PVE rounds mods rework so they're like still working on the mods and but they're gonna increase grenade reload for right now because we really need it i guess they say invisibility night stalkers the day the reckoning is upon us our invisible exploits are barely been seen but they're the most have been certainly felt blah 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 they're broken infinite dodge or throw smoke dodging temporarily kills aim assist and projectile tracking allowing you to actually dodge things smoke just immediately jumps to initiate invisibility for duration of visibility aim assist disabled dodge finishes visibility expires aim assist and tracking are re-enabled coming soon 1.14 pvp only infinite dodge or throw smoke initiate dodge and throw smoke i was like infinite dodge what Initiate invisibility, dodge finishes, aim assist and tracking re-enabled, invisibility expires. So for the last update, I mentioned how nasty bug prepped our scopes near impossible to shoot. Basically, they're fixing the freaking whatever. What do they call that? They are fixing the flinch on snipers. That's what they call that. And they're playtesting. They got a video right here. Eh, it's all right. And that's it. Hopefully, the update is good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and can't wait till rank comes out. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully Destiny 2 can survive and we need really more exotics too. Like just more content in general. A little bit of more free content would be nice, but I guess we gotta pay for these expansions. So well they're kinda making us, but it's whatever. I feel like this should just be free by now. Anyways, hope you hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and yeah. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Leave a dislike. I don't care. No, don't leave a dislike. Just kidding. Do whatever you want. But anyways, yeah. Have a nice day, everyone.